In this video, we're gonna be going through how to set up your eCaro Smart Garage Door Opener in the Home app, specifically the Google Home application. For the setup, there are a couple prerequisites. One of those is that you have your eCaro Smart Garage Door Opener set up in the Smart Life application. Here you can see that I have Garage Door and Garage Door 2. Garage Door 2 is the device right here, and that's the device we're primarily gonna be adding to the Google Home application. The second prerequisite is that you have the Google Home application set up. You have the Google Home device like this one set up in the Google Home application and you wanna be able to make sure that you're logged in and can fully operate that application. So we'll get started here and the first thing we're gonna do is from the Smart Life application. There's a couple things that we need to set up on this device for it to work with anything that's voice control. So we'll go into Garage Door 2 I will select the settings icon, and in the middle of the screen, you can see that it says voice control. We're first gonna to wanna to make sure that we turn that voice control feature on, and then we are going to want to set a pin for the Google Home device. What this is gonna allow us to do is if we open the device via a voice control, it's gonna ask us for a pin, and that pin is a requirement. So if you're opening it through this method, you have to have the pin. That is a requirement from Google Home and not something that we can necessarily control. So in this instance, I will set a pin. One, two, three, four. I will confirm the pin. And now that I have the Garage Door 2 set up with a pin and voice control turn on, I will then go over to the Google Home application. Now what we're gonna wanna do here is we're actually going to want to link the Smart Life application to the Google Home app, and we can do that easily by simply going to Devices. Once you're in Devices, you select Add, and you'll select Works with Google. Once you're at this screen, you're gonna wanna search for Smart Life. Scroll down to the Smart Life icon. Here we have it, and select it. In some instances, it may ask you for your Smart Life credentials, and those will be the credentials that you used when you created your Smart Life account, or like in my case, it's gonna ask me just simply to agree and link. So it took me over to the Smart Life application, and all I need to do is select agree and link. Once that's completed, you can see it says Smart Life is linked on the bottom, and it's gonna start pulling in those Smart Life devices that I have added into my Google Home application. So here you can see that it says choose a device and what it's going to ask is where is this device at in your home or where do you want to place it? So I'll select garage door 2, select next, I do want it in home and believe it or not I would like it in garage. I'm going to leave garage door and when I go back to this home screen, it's the favorite screen, there's no device, but if I look under devices I can actually see those two devices. They are both offline, so I will say, okay, Google, sync my devices. Got it, syncing devices for the smart life. So I'll refresh it, and there you can see that Garage Door 2 came online. Once you open Garage Door 2, you can see that I can open and close it directly from this app, and the open and close is a direct correlation to the sensor position. Here you can see that I have my sensors set up next to each other, so it thinks the door is closed. If I was to move those sensors away from each other, you can see now that the application thinks that the door is open. Again, if I moved it back to being close to each other, those move back to the closed position. I can also use these toggles to select open, which then would ask me for my pin, one, two, three, four. And once I hit OK, you're gonna notice that the light on the eCaro Smart Garage Door Opener will react, and you'll hear a click of the relay within the device. So I'll select OK. You can see the light go on, you can hear the relay, and the garage door normally would have opened. Or I could select the close button, the garage door toggle goes on, the light comes on, and the garage door then would normally close and then it would indicate in the Google Home app that the door has been closed. So we've confirmed that it's working within the application. Now let's go ahead and actually use our Google Home device to perform those open and closes. So I can say, okay Google, open garage door two. 
Can I have your pin? One, two, three, four. Got it. Opening the garage door too. And the door would open, or I could say, okay, Google, close garage door two. Sure, closing the garage door two. And the light came on on the e Cairo device, and the relay triggered, which would have caused my garage door then to close, so I moved the sensors close to each other. There is a third command that you can use to query the status of your e Cairo smart garage door opener. You can say, okay, Google, is garage door two open or close? The garage door two is closed. So there you can see that you can actually use Google Home to tell you the current status of your garage door. You can use it to open it or to close it. Now, one thing to note is that if you are opening it, you will have to have that pin set in Smart Life. And that's something, again, that we don't have control over. It is something that Google has enforced as a policy for garage door openers. The last area that we're gonna go through with the Google Home integration is how to use the automations feature. Google Home has a feature that they call either automations or routines, and it's extremely useful, and we're gonna show you how you can leverage that. One of the things that might be a little bit confusing is that if you do go to automations on the bottom and you select add, and then let's just say I'm doing a household routine, and I select an action, if I use the adjust home devices option, all you have is the office speaker and there's no options for the eCairo smart garage door opener. So let's talk about how to control things through routines for the eCairo smart garage door opener. I'm going to back out of here and we're going to go over to our smart life application. Because one of the things that you can use through the routines is the tap to run options. So if I go to the home screen, I select scene, I have the option on the top you can see tap to run. To create a tap to run it's extremely easy. You simply select the plus button and launch tap to run. Once you have your launch tap to run, you're able to set up multiple sequences of events or just one that can be triggered through this tap to run. So for example, under the then option, I'll select the plus icon. I will select control single device and I will select garage door two action. And let's just say I want it to open. Select save, next and I will save this. I'll say garage door open for a name, confirm, and now I have my tap to run. If I select that tap to run on this screen, it will open my garage door. So that was a single tap to run event, but if I go over to my Google Home application, I look inside of my automations, I go to household, action, and home devices, now you can see that there's an option to add scenes. I can select add scenes and you can see that that tap to run that I created is now an option under that scene. So I can select that, add action, and now I can use the eCaro Smart Garage Door Opener in my routines through the Google Home application. Obviously you can add multiple items under the routine, you can add multiple items under the tap to run. This kind of opens up that flexibility for you to use your eCairo smart garage door opener very easily through those routine functions. So in this example, I will say, when I say, hey Google, do something special, and I save it, I have that routine, so I say, okay Google, do something special and that triggers my eCairo smart garage door opener. So that's how you can use the eCairo smart garage door opener through the tap to run function within Smart Life to create routines that you can use within the Google Home application to control your devices a little bit more intelligently. You can see on the bottom that garage door is still set as offline. If I refresh it, it still shows as offline. So let's get that online and add it in our application. So for this one, I'll go back to Smart Life. I'm gonna go back to garage door. I will hit the settings icon and we will turn on voice control. Once voice control is on, I'm also gonna set a pin so I can use it. Same pin here, one, two, three, four. 
I will confirm it, and then I will go back to the Google Home application. I'll pull down, and if that doesn't work, you can also ask Google. You can say, okay, Google, sync my devices. Sure, syncing devices for the smart light. And Google will start to sync those devices. If that doesn't work, you can also go to devices, you can select add, works with Google, and now you should have Smart Life on the top. You can select it and select check for new devices. I'll select agree and link, and I will let it check for those new devices. Here we can see we have garage door, so I'll select that icon, select next, home, next, and then this one will also be in the garage. I'll add these two also to my favorites. And if all the previous steps have not resulted in your eKairo opener coming online, it might be a good idea to head back over to Smart Life, verify your eKairo opener is working by doing a couple open and close cycles. Then give it a minute or two and then head back over to the Google Home application. In this specific scenario, the syncing and then opening closing of the Smart Life app brought back the eCairo Smart Garage Door Opener so it now shows as online in our Google Home application. Depending on your situation, any one of these steps may have brought your eCairo Smart Garage Door Opener online, but we would encourage you that if you're still having issues with your eCairo Smart Garage Door Opener in Google Home device, please reach out to us at info at eCairo.com.